purpose of this video is to show you how to convert your camcorder or Hi8 analog movies or recordings into digital recordings. Uh, thank you. Please hit that subscribe button and that like button. Thank you. As you can see, this is a Hi8 camcorder. And the Hi8 camcorders, they take they take these Hi8, um, <clears throat> you know, like cassettes. So this is analog uh, storage. Uh, my preference would be to keep the analog storage because it lasts a lot longer than digital storage. But since a lot of things are going digital in certain uh, places, certain like let's say Best Buy doesn't carry analog, high uh, cassettes or camcorders, you know sometimes you're forced to convert it to to digital because most things are uh, sold as digital these days. So I want to convert all of my height, you know, camcorders from, <clears throat> let's say, we started making family videos around 2004, so we have all these height um, analog uh, videos, and we could connect the uh, camcorder to the television using these uh, red, green, I mean red, white, and yellow, and maybe a S, uh, S video connection and play it back but um, like I said <clears throat> the purpose of this video is to show you how to co uh, how to uh, convert these high um, uh, analog storage device storage uh, you know storage to uh, to digital and like I said my preference would be to uh, you know, maintain analog. You know, be, just because the storage lasts longer. You know, hard drives go out. Uh, all kind of digital devices, you know, crash or don't work anymore, and you lose all your data. But these analog devices, like that height cassette, lasts forever. I mean, I've had that. We've had that cassette since 2004. But you know, I'll get off my soapbox. But um. So stay tuned and I'll show you the software and the hardware you need to convert high 8 analog cassettes to digital, to, to you know, videos to digital. Um, so the components you'll need to accomplish this, one of course is a camcorder. Secondly, you, can, you need a S-video cable, that's what this guy is here. And an S video cable or a uh, or a composite video cable and you'll need the audio cables so this red and white are the audio cables and this guy is connected to my camcorder here this guy here and for this demonstration, I'm not going to use the composite video. I'm actually going to use the S video cable because it, it has a better video basically than the composite in my opinion. So the S video cable is connected to this device here and we got this from Dell. And it's also connected to the camcorder. So that's how the video is going to get transmitted to the computer from the S video to this device. Um, and this device here has a card that's connected to the um, the video card, you know, in the uh, PC tower, basically the uh, the desktop's tower. So this device, um, this connector, has a uh, card that goes to the back of the PC, and it connects to the video cable. So again. You can probably get one of these from Dell. Just tell them what you're trying to do. And they'll probably have one of these devices. And basically this device has an S video port, which is the dark, the dark um, connector here. 
has a composite video port. We're not using that for this demonstration. And it has audio ports. So on this side, this, this is the output basically. So you could actually play, you know, to a, a television that has an S video or a composite video and uh, audio. You could uh, play, you know, output of the computer basically. But so basically, if you look at the underside, uh, maybe it's not on the underside. Well, it's on here. You probably can't see it, but it actually says out. Let's see. Yeah, O U T. You probably can't see it. But uh, this side is the input. And it actually has something that says. Um, in, but you, you can't see it. It's just too dark. Too dark. Because it's on black on black. So this is the input to this device. And we're going to use the S video and the, uh, you know, white and red audio cables to uh, you know connect it. So as I mentioned this is the back of the computer you probably can't see it but this is the uh, video card here in, in the uh, that device that I showed you earlier with the uh, from Dell is connected to the video card on the back of the uh, PC. Okay so this is the back of the computer and this is the, um, the digital card, I mean the uh, connector, the digital connector here where my finger is. That connects to the, to the uh, I'm sorry, this is a connector that comes from the analog device that's connected to the, to the camcorder. And it's connected to the, to the back of the computer. I'm not sure if you can see it, but this is where it inputs to the back of the computer. Right where my finger is at. It's just so dark back here, but anyways. So for so for a more pictorial view of this, um, these are the inputs and outputs I was showing you on the device. This is the back of the computer, you know, pictorially, and this device connects into the video card of the device. I mean, of the uh, the PC. So this is pictorially back of the PC. This is the device I showed you and it connects to the video card in the back of the PC. Like I said we got this from Dell. And you could probably just tell Dell what you're trying to do and they could probably uh, send you one. Tell you what kind of video card you have in the back of your computer. And uh, so again like we connected it to our this is pictorially but we connected to our camcorder and in our example we're using the S video because I think it has a better video we could have used the composite video and these are the audio ports so that's what's going to be input into the computer stay tuned for the example Thanks. so we're going to be using Dell Movie Studio Plus or maybe Dell Mo Movie Studio Plus Dell Movie, or uh, yeah, we're going to use Dell Movie Studio Plus, maybe to capture this. I have some other software that will capture it, but I think I'm going to use that one. Okay, for this example, we're going to use software called Dell Movie Studios. I have other software, one software called Burn CDs and DVDs, um, that would allow me to uh, capture what's coming from the camcorder. But today we're going to use Dell Movie Studios for this example. It's just a simple and straightforward method, so that's why I'm choosing this one. So, I'm just going to click on this. It's just loading. Okay, once it loads, we're going to, um, there's some different options. One option is called um, Easy Capture. One option is called Edit Videos. The other option is called 
video CD maker. So we're just going to choose capture videos. So right now it's blank because I don't have the camcorder turned on. But um, I'm going to turn it on and you'll see a video appear here. Okay, so I've turned on the camcorder, and as you can see, the camcorder has a blue screen because I haven't pressed the video to start capturing. But um, it's just a Sony camcorder. We got it in uh, 2000, probably 2003 or 4. So it's an analog camcorder that has high, high videos. It's a blue screen here, and I'll show you on the computer. It matches what's on the computer. So as you can see on the computer, this is the uh, computer screen. You know it has a blue screen too. And it just says ready, so it's waiting to capture. So this is the software. Just want to give you a quick example to show you what's being planned on the camcorder is also okay I just want to give you a shot of what's being played on the camcorder is also showing up on the uh, computer software so as you can see hopefully the same shot is being played on both it's the camcorder so as you can see it says select source so I'm selecting the capture cards because that's where the uh, it's plugged into. So I just hit next. Uh, video capture, just general purpose. It says, uh, do you want the best capture? I always select um, normal capture because it just lose, uses less memory when you say normal. So then I say next. So it says, uh, you want a video file so it will ask you to start capturing so once you start capturing you know it's, it, it's, it uh... it asks you when you want to stop capturing. This is how much time I have left to capture uh... you know memory on my computer basically so uh... uh it's only two minutes left so just for this example see it's capturing the video that's being played from the camcorder I showed you that earlier so since uh, I don't have much time left, just for this example, I'm going to say stop capturing. So once you stop cap, once you stop capturing, if you can remember the name of the file was video one .avi. So it creates the AVI file, and this AVI file is that digital is a digital file. You know that was originally the analog file coming from the Hi8 video from the camcorder so now you have that digital file that you can do anything with uh, you know like you would do nowadays with uh, you know what's on your SD card or what's on your uh, you know phone camera video it may be a different type of file it may not be AVI that it creates maybe a MOV or whatever but this is just a digital a digital type file, the AVI. So what I've showed you is how to take a a Hi8 camcorder analog uh, Hi8 analog file and create it to smash that subscribe button and like this video. If you have any questions, please ask them to, below, and I'll do my best to try to answer all the questions. Um, so hopefully this helps. I, I prefer analog videos like the high 8 because they just last longer. I think the companies are forcing us to go digital. I don't think the digital hard drives and you know etc etc last as long as the high 8 analog videos. So you'll have to replace your hard drive you know eventually. But you know, for right now it seems like you know the companies are forcing you to go digital because they don't carry many analog memory uh, type devices like analog camcorders, high uh, cassettes and stores anymore 
So you might want to push back on companies and force them to start creating these analog memory devices because they just last so much longer. That's, that's just my opinion. You don't want to replace your hard drive every five to eight years when your analog when your high eight analog videos last pretty much forever. These cassettes they last forever. As long as you don't let them like overheat or melt or something and get damaged, they will last pretty much forever. So it's a better way to keep your uh, memories with the high eight videos. But this example is changing the high eight analog video to digital. That's the purpose of this video because I know a lot of people probably have a high eight and a lot of videos lying around they're trying to figure out how to convert them to digital so that's the purpose of this particular video so hopefully you learned something if uh, you have any questions please leave them below in the comment section and uh, sm smash that subscribe button thank you for watching hi I just wanted to reiterate guys so like I said this is a um, this is an analog camcorder and it takes these high uh, tapes and this is the analog camcorder you know what many of you may not know is that these analog memory devices like this high cam high video cassette it, it keeps your videos or your memories way longer than the new hard drives that you use these days for your memory so you know, it would be nice if somehow we could encourage companies like Sony to, you know, create these or continue to create these analog memory devices just so we could keep our memories longer. You know, you could always convert it to a digital and put it on a hard drive. The hard drive may or may not last, you know, five to eight years and you have to replace it. So you have to keep moving your memory or moving your uh, data to different memory you know different hard drives as, as one crashes and you have to get another one when you have the height analog device uh, memory device it lasts like I said pretty much forever so my preference is these type of devices that they don't really make anymore um, I just wanted to get on my soapbox right quick because some people may not know this information so you, you know it's just it'll save you money over time you know your uh, memories will last longer so just think about that. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, hit the subscribe button.